This is one of those um, wine kits. It's a wine expert, Chilean Sauvignon Blanc. Done it a few times before. It's absolutely blinding and will probably knock the spots off almost any supermarket. Uh, wine. Now, this has just finished its fermentation. You can see there is bubbles in there. Those is carbon dioxide. The instructions then say degas it. There are three different ways to degas a wine. First is just stir it vigorously and agitate it. The second is to use a, a, like a whip on an electric drill. And the third is to use a great big fuck off vacuum chamber like this. And this is a very, very serious vacuum chamber, boys and girls. That's the thickness of the um, Perspex lid that goes on it, in it. And then, oh, I need to plug the uh, vacuum thing in. Hang on. It's on a foot switch. This should now start. There we go. And in here, in a short while, there's only dust on the top. There's nothing been underneath. It's been all wrapped up. So that is now forming a vacuum in there. Okay. Here. Right, we'll come back when all the bubbles is bubbling out. That's, that's uh, about a minute in and we're starting to see the little bubbles come out. As the bubbles get bigger, it means it's getting near the end of degassing. Now I've actually racked this off the, whatever you want to call it, trube or lease, I think. If it's wine, you call it lease. Because um, you don't want to degas it while it's still on the yeast cake, apparently. Now, this is only for the final stages of the process. When it is all finished and cleared, we'll be bunging it in a keg anyway. Uh, probably one of those over there, I should think. And, um, and then carbonating it, lightly carbonating it. Not too sure how many, uh, how many units, but making it more of a fizzante type. Not really Prosecco, but fizzante. We've done it, we've, how many have we done? Two, three, before? Might be more, don't know. It's an idea from a guy called Timmy Jenkins, who, uh, who brews a rather decent New England IPA. But he put this kit up, we thought we'll have a go at that, so we got one. The next couple of kits we bought were slightly smaller, but it's still the wine expert range. I will do a video on making them. It is so simple. It, it is blindingly simple. It's so simple you won't believe it. In fact, this I think is probably the most most difficult part of it is the degassing. But you could do that just by stirring it a lot. One of the things I noticed when I got the Easy Dens was even a flat looking beer, or in this case a fairly flat looking wine, contains an awful lot of dissolved CO2. And um, with the beer samples I'll put them in a uh, ultrasonic bath, that gets rid of them. This is a bit big for an ultrasonic bath. And this is where the CO2 really starts to come out. Pretty impressive, huh? So that's been two minutes. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, been, it's been five minutes. And what I've just donned is uh, close the inlet properly. <laughs> it must have been just bringing a tiny amount in but it's not now it is now but let's have a little look let's walk around try not to trip over and let's have a little look oh yeah yeah we have a vacuum you see that just a tiny tiny little bit open i think it might, it might have just under the extreme vacuum been pulling a little bit in but that now core blimey gov 
That's definitely degassing. So it is. Now, as you can see, those bubbles starting to get bigger. So instead of a frothy head, it's now bringing out the last residual CO2. That is degassed and there's a little bit of condensation on the inside as well. I think next what we do is gently let the pressure back in, but not quickly, gently. Oh my God, the smell is divine. Oh, right. Anyway, that is degassing. Oh God, that smells so good. Oh, anyway, now we've got to take that up and we've got to start the fining process. Um, but yeah, degassing using a massive industrial vacuum chamber and uh, not a not a gram of BHO in sight. Cheers. That's it.